convection and radiation in this module let us learn about convection and radiation water and air are poor conductors of heat still heat transfer takes place in these substances let us know how the heat transfer takes place in these substances first let us perform an activity to understand the heat transfer in water take a round bottom flask fill it two thirds with water place it on a stand wait till the water in the flask is still place a crystal of potassium permanganate at the bottom of the flask gently using a straw now heat the water by placing the candle just below the crystal we can observe that all the water in the flask attains the purple color of the crystal this is because when water is heated the water near the flame gets hot hot water rises up the cold water from the sides moves down towards the source of heat this water also gets hot and rises and cold water from the sides moves down this process continues till the whole water gets heated this mode of heat transfer is known as convection now let us try to understand how the heat travels in air the air near the heat source gets hot and rises the air from the sides comes in to take its place in this way the air gets heated now let us do an activity to understand about this light a candle keep one hand above the flame and one hand on the side of the flame towards the top the air gets heated by convection therefore the hand above the flame feels hot on the sides however there is no convection and air does not feel as hot as at the top the people living in the coastal areas experience an interesting phenomenon during the day the land gets heated faster than the water the air over the land becomes hotter and rises up the cooler air from the sea rushes in towards the land to take its place the warm air from the land moves towards the sea to complete the cycle the air from the sea is called the sea breeze to receive the cooler sea breeze the windows of the houses in coastal areas are made to face the sea at night it is exactly the reverse the water cools down more slowly than the land so the cool air from the land moves towards the sea this is called the land breeze we feel warm when we come in the sun out due to the radiation the transfer of heat by radiation does not require any medium it can take place whether a medium is present or not as there is no medium such as air in most part of the space between the earth and the sun from the sun the heat comes to us by a process called radiation